Okay, so I went to I went to Chelsea Art School, and it was the number one art school I wanted to go to in London cause, because it, it allowed you to be free with what what you chose to do. I didn't like um, make you do just painting or just sculpture. You could do anything, um, and so there they really they actually told me not to paint there because they said you're already good at that. Try something else. Because then I was doing just um, I was doing more. Um, portraiture and um, and so I actually left that and tried um, installation and film um, and I went around the world interviewing people about open relationships and sex experts and psychologists and um, and because I love psychology and you know and science and everything like that so that's that's always a theme in my work um, and then I went to Vancouver for a term there, um, came came back to Chelsea, finished there, and then I started getting portrait commissions, and then I declared myself self-employed, and then I started visiting New York, and um, just fell in love with it. And the the thing that I really love about New York compared to London is that it has the artist community, and in London I I didn't really. I didn't really have that, and I love how here, like, there's loads of artists that um, you know we can get together and we talk about ideas and we paint together, and you know there's so there's always a, an exhibition to go to and a show to go to, and I like how my friends are really motivated um, to work hard, and and I can just I can see that they're going somewhere. You know? I, my portraiture, when you get up close to it. It looks like a painting, and I think I, I make sure that it does because I don't see the point in just painting something that looks exactly like a photograph. Um, but they're both they're both a very different process. The, the 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 portraiture is very slow and concentrated, although the abstraction surrealism is can be that too. But it it's more it's more dynamic. I think essentially they both bring me something very unique and different but I think I probably prefer the abstraction surrealism because I feel like it taps into a more deep part of me and expresses like that inner, inner essence that is indescribable with words. Inspiration comes from life, everything, but recently, in the last seven months, um, I feel like my self-growth and my art has, um, like, the growth has gone, because it was like da 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 and now it's gone whew, because I gave up drinking um, just to, like, live a more um, even keel, like, healthy lifestyle and not have those ups and downs and it's also because I'm, I'm I've been meditating every day for three years and recently it feels like the meditation has allowed me to go deeper also because I've combined it with um, breath work which can send my mind into I can I can it becomes very visual and almost um, like well like a hallucination and I can see these images and then I paint them and then I paint them. Well, idols I would say, I, I don't think I could be a surrealist painter without saying Salvador Dali. Um, but I also love, like, I love Gerhard Richter, I love the way he talks about his work. Um, I love Chuck Close. Um, but. Oh, and I also really like Charlie Immer. Um, he's a, like a, a young surrealist um, painter. Yeah, and many, just many artists I see in High Fructose magazine. Yeah. Um. I think any other art forms that I would want to. 
I'm, I'm, al I'm always leaving myself open to explore anything that the idea needs. So if it needed to be a sculpture, I think it would. But at the moment, I feel there's so much to explore with paint that um, I'm very satisfied and nourished with that at the moment. And each painting that I do leads on to the next one. And like I'll take like something from one painting and, and use it as a into the next one if I think that worked particularly well. Well, I want my goal, my my goals are, you know, it's always, I was talking about this with a friend the other day because when people come for a studio visit, it's always really hard to explain to them just how focused and ambitious I am because it, you know, it can come across as very arrogant. Um, but, <laughs> but I really, I'm so focused and I really, really want my work to one day be in the Whitney and the MoMA. And I, you know, one of my other goals is to have my work on the front cover of High Fructose. That's like, you know, I would love that. Um, one of my goals was to do an album cover and I've just done that, so. Um, but I also, I just have this vision of being a very old artist and having a, like a big retrospective and younger artists coming to me and um, feeling and s saying that they're inspired by my work because I know I've had that feeling with other artists and that's like my goal and I would like to be able to have enough money to invest in other young artists and give them the, the, the you know, the ability to create art. That's my, my goals. Yeah.